Hey everybody, welcome back to the brand new video. Hopefully everyone's having a very pleasant Saturday. Today we're going to have the Saturday showdown a bit later tonight, but for right now I figured let's warm things up with the big fly box. The big fly box, this is the July edition. I think this might be the last subscription box from the month of July. We already looked at the boom boxes earlier this month, along with the Grand Slam card club, along with the pen box, and now we've got the big fly box for you. If you want to grab one of these, if you like the premise of the box, you like the price, you like the packs, www.thebigflybox.com. Let's see what we've got in this month's edition of the big fly box. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope everyone's having a very pleasant day, and I hope that we can find some good cards in here. We had one of our biggest hits ever, uh, at least out of a subscription box from a big fly box maybe like three months ago pulled a maximo acosta first bowman i think it was like an orange shimmer out of 25 autograph about a thousand dollar card but that'd be nice to pull that again but let's see what we've got here first let's take a look at the packs uh some of the different subscription boxes it's always nice to see how they mix it up some guys just focus mainly on 2022 products some guys will focus on some 2021 and 2022, some more recent ones over a couple years. And it seems like they're mixing it up a little bit and going back to 2018 with a Heritage pack, which is pretty cool. They've also got us covered for 2020 Series 1, a great release right there with Jordan Alvarez, possible rookie card. We've got a 2020 Pro Debut pack. We've got a 2022 Series 2 pack. We've got a hobby pack of... 2022 Bowman. By the way, they're all hobby packs so far. This is a great one. 2019 Tops Update. We've got Gypsy Queen from 2022. And now we're going back to 2015 Heritage High Number. And last but not least, we've got a jumbo pack of Series 2. So nine total packs. I like the I like it. I like it. I like the kind of uh different packs here. That's that's always uh, nice when they kind of think things out and say, like, oh, let's do this. This These packs aren't seen too often anymore. Let's go and grab some of these. So here's kind of the uh, sell sheet that shows you the, your odds and stuff like that. And it also tells you the good rookie cards because, for example, I haven't opened 2015 Heritage High Number maybe ever. I, I don't know if I've opened or not. I didn't start the doing baseball cards on the video until a couple years after 2015, but... Looks like uh, Francisco Lindor would be the one that I would be after in that one. Maybe Chris Bryant. So let's go ahead and open these up. We're going to start things off with the Minor League Pack 2020 Pro Debut. And see what we can hit in this first pack. We got a Jared Triolo right there. Which uh, I believe Timmy just secured his autograph at a... Uh, I think it was a Altoona Curve. I'm not sure because the auto was tough to read. There's Bobby Dalbeck. Matt Manning, we've got Brian Mata right there. Hey, key Brian Hayes for the Buckos. We've got Dom Fletcher, Brady Singer now in the big leagues, and a Noah Song. Like that key Brian Hayes a lot. No longer my favorite pirate. That would be O'Neill Cruz, but I still like him. So I still like that card. Cool card right there. Next up, we're going to go to 2022 the Gypsy Queen. Let's see what we can find in here. So I kind of like the fact here. One thing I really like is. They did some 22. They gave us, what, three packs of 2022, but they gave us some older packs, and they only gave us one pack of 2021. I mean, a lot of us have opened a lot of 2021 over the past year, so it was nice that they went back a little bit um, more into the 2018, 15, 19. Good stuff. But not great stuff in this pack. Just some commons in there. Let's see what else we can find. Next, I'm going to go ahead and open the Series 2 pack from 2022 and see what we can find in this one. Like I said, about a $90 box for the big fly box. We've got Tarek Skubal on the front. Gavin Lux in here as well. Having a much better season than other seasons. Andrew Benintendi also having a great season. There's your starting catcher of the All-Star game. Alejandro Kirk, professional hitter right there. Sandy Alcantara, another great one. Lots of great young stars coming up now. We've got an Ozzy Smith All-Star card, 87 tops design. AJ Alexi, there's William Contreras, another All-Star. And Glaber trying to get his mojo back. Eh, not having quite as bad a season as before. Maybe he'll get to 20, 25 home runs if he's lucky. I think next I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to do the 2020 Series 1 pack. And go after Jordan Alvarez. Let's see what we've got. Alex Bregman on the top. We've got Jeremy Jeffress right there. There's Carlos Santana, Lewis Brinson, and Alex Young. So far, nothing crazy. Odds of finding an autograph in most of these packs are about 1 in 24. There's a Kevin Pillar gold card. 
Michael Pineda and Javi Baez. This is going to be our best chance in an autograph. The Jumbo Pack. That's why I'll probably save it for near the end. Next, let's do the 2022 Bowman Pack. Maybe we'll find Ellie De La Cruz or Khalil Watson or maybe James Wood. I think we do have some color coming up. I see some green. And uh, I hope it's a big one. Let's see. It's going to be a Jose Ramos out of $3.99. First Bowman. I'll take it. Some color. First Bowman. Get that one in a sleeve. All right. Next pack. I really like the 2019 update, as you probably know. I think next we'll do 2018 Heritage and see what we've got in here. Now, this, this isn't the high number, so I don't think the Acuna or the, the Soto or the Otani are going to be in this release. But let's see what we got. It's featuring the 1969 Topps design. There's Robbie Cano and Adam Duvall. Unfortunately, just a bunch of commons in that pack. So a couple packs left. I'm going to go to 2015 Heritage High Number and search and see if we can find the big boy card in this which i guess is the chris bryant and francisco lindor so here we go we've got angel nesbitt i don't remember that name at all ruben tejada michael lorenzen rookie card we've got david buchanan jock peterson jt Realmuto back with the marlins ryan rua emilio bonifacio and martin prado so unfortunately nothing too crazy in there i'm gonna do 2019 update next so far, the best card of the video is probably this one, nothing else. So I guess you could, you, I mean, it's obvious we're striking out right now. Let's see what we've got. I'm hoping for a big fly out of the ballpark here. Maybe we can hit it out of here with this pack. It'd be nice to find one of the big rookies from 2019 in a parallel. Or it'd be nice just to find a base card of one of the big guys in 2019, such as Vladdy or any of those rookie debuts of Tatis or Alonso or Aloy Jimenez. And uh, unfortunately, we have struck out Michael Chavis, Kevin, Kevin Biggio. Last pack magic. Can we have it? I do like 2021 Top Series 2 Jumbos. I think there's some good stuff on this auto checklist. I've had some good luck with this. I think we just pulled a Juan Soto autograph out of 10 from our Saturday showdown when we did a case of these last week. So let's see what we can find in here. Thanks for watching once again, everybody. Hope everyone's having a very pleasant evening. And... I hope you will join us for our Saturday showdown tonight. This is our warm-up. Let's see if we can find anything worthwhile in here. All the good stuff is going to be in the middle. There's Jazz Chisholm. It's a base card, so it's not going to be worth all that much. Might be able to find that in a quarter box, but still, I like that card. Garrett Crochet. And we got a gold card of Braylon Marquez. Rookie card. I always like finding gold rookies. Nate Pearson and Dean Kramer. So we have struck out. There's not anything in the middle. Any short prints or any other parallels or autographs or relics would have been right around the middle of that box or that pack, and they weren't. So unfortunately, not a big fly in this one. It's probably just a uh, – it's like bunting on the third strike and popping it up and the catcher catching it, I guess. Just didn't get a whole lot of value there. But that's the way these go. It's not just uh, – I mean, this box didn't have any value, but the next box down the road, somebody probably had some nice autos in there. I mean, we had one box that had thousand a $1,000 card, and you just never know. It's like buying a lottery ticket, I guess, when it comes to these packs. So thank you very much to the folks of the Big Fly Box, and thank you, everybody, for watching this one. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Saturday. I hope you will join us tonight live for the Saturday Showdown. I'm looking at probably an auction tomorrow night as well, so join us for that. And I think I'm going to do those Stay Classy Packs tomorrow, those $50 Stay Classy Packs. There is some great stuff in there, so stay tuned for that as well. Thanks very much for watching. Have a great rest of your Saturday. I'll see you a little bit for the live stream. Good night, everybody.